like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Unforgiving molten lava, radiation-filled land, boiling sands of the Sahara, harsh winter, and frosty winds of Antarctica. Let us discover some of the animals who display incredible adaptations to live in each one of such hostile conditions. Wood Frog. Holding the title of the Living Dead, these inhabitants of North America have adapted a strange strategy to survive in the freezing winters of Canada. They freeze themselves by producing a special antifreeze sugary syrup that keeps the cell strong and prevents ice crystal formation. During extreme winters, 65% of their body's water turns to ice, and this state is called frogsicle a condition in which their heartbeat and breathing stop and they become a motionless, solid object. And when spring comes, the bumpy skins thaw and come back to their lives and hop on over to a breeding pond. Sahara Desert Ant This is a desert-dwelling ant that inhabits the Sahara and is one of the most heat-tolerant animals known to date. The tiny creature can sustain a temperature of up to 70 degrees Celsius, and to avoid being roasted in the warm sand of the desert, it always keeps moving. Tiny hairs on its back repel the sun rays and also shed excess heat back toward the sky. Due to the metallic look, it is often referred to as a droplet of mercury on desert sands. With scavenging and heat-resistant behavior, the silver ant is so specialized in its lifestyle that it has its own name. Thermophilic Scavenger. Cleaner Wrasse. You'd be hard pressed to find a fish daring enough to voluntarily enter a top predator's mouth, but that's precisely what a humble fish called the Cleaner Wrasse does. These fish swim directly into sharks' intimidating, teeth filled mouths to eat the leftovers and also ingest the parasites that reside on sharks' bodies. And the sharks love it! It's a bit of a head-scratcher that the shark doesn't take advantage of a daring little fish, but it's wise enough to know that the removal of the parasites and leftover foodstuffs is good for its health. Consequently, it lets the cleaner wrasse do its thing and then live to tell the tale. Chernobyl Wolf Pack Despite high radiation levels in the poisoned land of Chernobyl, the area known for its life-threatening nuclear history has now become home to the most exotic species, and gray wolves reflect best the condition of the entire ecosystem, as they are living a normal and healthy life. But still, scientists believed these wolves to be mutant creatures from the radioactive Chernobyl nuclear disaster zone, which roamed out in the abandoned areas, raising the chances to spread mutant genes. Besides wolves, it is also assumed that similar things would be happening with the other animals as well. Anglerfish Anglerfish live in the deepest zone of the ocean. This is the medium-sized fish that lives at the depth of at least 6,600 feet in the complete absence of the sunlight. As life in the deep sea is difficult, this fish has a special adaptation to survive the presence of an illuminated lure protruding from its head that attracts the prey and facilitates this predator to swallow anything it finds, as it's very rare to find a suitable prey regularly in the dark depths. Its ability to extend its jaws to an incredible size allows it to consume prey twice the size of its body. The unique body structures and ability to stock food in its stomach help this deep-sea monster to thrive in the most unfriendly environment. Lungfish African lungfish live in freshwater swamps, backwaters, and small rivers in West and South Africa. These prehistoric animals have survived unchanged for nearly 400 million years and are sometimes referred to as living fossils. The lungfish have some fascinating adaptations. They have two lungs and can breathe air. This is a vital feature, since they live in floodplains in waterways that often dry up. To manage this life-threatening situation, the lungfish secretes a thin layer of mucus around itself that dries into a cocoon. It can live out of water in this cocoon for up to a year, 
breathing through its lungs until rains refill its waterway. Lava Lizard Often found warming up in the sun-top lava, these miniature iguanas, also known as lava lizards, are some of the most abundant reptiles throughout the Galapagos. By nesting inside the crater, these iconic creatures lay eggs in the warm, soft ash of volcanoes and use the thermal heat to protect their eggs. Their ability to camouflage with their environment is based on temperature or even mood changes that protect them from their predators. Although they spend most of their time scuttling and scurrying over the black lava that covers most of the islands, when their instincts warn them of potential volcanic activity, it's not unusual for them to flee before safety is no longer an option. Lesser Flamingos These beautiful birds with long legs and pinkish-white feathers are notorious for surviving in the toxic lakes of Africa as that place is a paradise for them. Lake Natron is the famous soda lake and gets its causticity from sodium carbonate, making the water a strong alkaline, close to the strength of household bleach that could be fatal for both humans and animals. But a group of flamingos has developed scales and leathery skin on their legs to prevent burning and have the capacity to remove elements like salt with their nasal cavities. They have thrived in their millions by adapting to the inhospitable conditions of this lake, and due to a rare food competition, these lesser flamingos have no worries about predators. Megapode In the caldera of an extinct volcano, Mount Bosavi, the omnivorous megapodes burrow into the hot ashes to bury their oval eggs. These big chickens with large feet are the only birds known to incubate their eggs using volcanic heat and never see their young ones that are hatched with open eyes. These spectacular birds have evolved in the most volcanic regions of the planet and use the bluffing activity for their benefit. Giant Rat Weighing nearly 3.5 pounds and measuring 32 inches from nose to tail, the Bosavi woolly rat is the only giant rat in the world that lives near craters. This giant rat was first discovered in 2009 in the crater of an extinct volcano named Mount Bosavi during a filmmaking expedition. This rare, giant member of the genus Malomis is completely tame, which means it was totally isolated and unfamiliar to humans. The silvery gray creature with thick, woolly fur is believed to be a vegetarian that has yet to receive its formal scientific name. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This image was captured in 2015 by a team of researchers who were shocked to find different species of sharks in the hot, acidic, sulfur-laden water in the crater located in the deep ocean. Due to the extremely hot environment, an underwater camera was installed that recorded a variety of hammerhead sharks, six-gill stingrays, and silky sharks lurking around. Scientists came up with an explanation that these species have adapted to survive in the hot and acidic environment of Kavachi, which is still an active volcano. Because scientists found sharks living in its crater, this active volcano is now dubbed Sharkano. Vampire Finch this small bird is a very distinct, sharp-beaked ground finch that is native to the Galapagos Islands. Due to the extremely dry conditions, these birds suffered a shortage of food and water supplies, and to survive in the worst conditions, they have evolved into vampires. The vampire finch has taken to drinking blood to supplement a diet of pulp, cactus nectar, and bird eggs. In addition to this, they also remove parasites from roosting booby seabirds. These practices provide all the nutrients needed for finches and help them tolerate the harshest conditions. Jerboa 
The tiny, furtive rodent, native to the deserts of northwest China and southern Mongolia, has a mouse-like body, rabbit ears, and back legs that look like a miniature kangaroo. In addition to these varieties of resembling features, this desert-dwelling rodent takes the easy route when it comes to surviving extreme heat. It sleeps in a cool burrow during the day and comes out at night when it's cooler to find food. See you next time!